They don't do. Good evening, everybody. Well, I say the way the guy take introduce me when I come to vex. Who is it to be a fine boy? I'm a fine boy. Are Ah, uh, man, they say yeah. Please, oh, Tani bro, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Who is your bro? Anyways, uh, my name is Ebuka Mike, like you rightly stated. Happy Independence Day, everybody. Yeah, please, for this country that we've been given, that we'll work on, that will make better, will make a great nation, please put your hands together for Nigeria. Yeah. That one, no, me say, I know they come out, yeah? You understand? Yeah, because I don't know, the older generation, they just have this belief. You know, I was talking, my uncle was talking with me on the phone. He said, Ebuka. Hey, I don't like your, the youth of nowadays. They can't fight for their country. They can't contend. The guy they talk from Jamnil. They can't contend. As a matter of fact, the youth love this country the most. You know why? Because if you love something, you will let it go. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, man. Honestly. I live in Nigeria all the time. I'm, like you said, I'm a student. I'm actually doing my... IT, my internship, you know. Actually, it's not an internship. Industrial training. There are two different things. Abroad, you have internship. In Nigeria, all we have is industrial training. And I explain the difference. You see, in internship, you gain much needed work experience. You see, but in industrial training, you experience much unneeded work. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, and I don't know where they I don't know where they had the meeting. I don't know why they had the meeting that they rather die than give you what you studied in school. <laughs> One of my guys, building tech, building technology is five years, ladies and gentlemen. His fourth year, he came out to do industrial training. The guy searched for work. Go Julius Berger, go back. <laughs> they don't give him. Went everywhere. As I speak to you now, he's teaching PhD in Shomolu. <laughs> what is the relationship between building technology and physical and health education? Oh, he's a bodybuilder. All right. Uh, seriously, man, it's a crazy stuff. And the one, the one that hurts me the most, like you said, if you don't know the school I'm going to, I go to Convenance, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, wow. Uh, those, they are PR shots. I'm going to clap for the school. I'm uh, Convenance, yeah. It's a crazy place, man. I, I, I want to tell you one, one incident that happened. You know, in Convenant, you know the school now. By this time, it's already past my bedtime, you know. That's Convenant. But, uh, it's like one of us, they do, uh, that laugh rich you well. Anyways, in Covenant, one thing that is this they, they can rather die than hear this thing is pornography. In Covenant University, immediately at the at the mention of pornography, every knee bows and is expulsion bone. Don't worry. But last semester I had a roommate. This guy they watch. <laughs> ha. This guy. You know the people where he was in trouble? Whenever I see they watch the video, he go watch the end credit join. <laughs> like if you they were kind of, I know that actor now, she don't want to. Ah, ah, the guy is in trouble. So you know, coming out now, church school. Person just go snitch, say somebody's watching pornography in that room. Oh boy, see when they come. Three white boss. Boom, storm the place. Announcement in this hall. We are searching laptops. Hey, see people there, you know, coming out picking. We carry MacBook. I don't want to go home. They go throw him. I don't want to be expelled. Ish. But they throw him. Then they search. This guy just they come for in bed. He still they watch. I said, bro, you know they yeah. He look me. He press play. They watch him. They they our floor. This guy still they come. You know that kind of you come. They panic. They go say both of us. They watch him. Oh. They go say hey. And as they panic, the guy just did it. They did the next room. He just closed the tab. I say, can I do something now? The guy just did. Now they enter my room. They be like 16. They say, yes, open your laptops. You know me, good boy now. I just bring my laptop. They type X. They don't see anything. They go everywhere, search and where they hide them. They don't see anything. They say, yeah, good boy. They say, you bring your laptop. This idiot, they carry a lappy. Go show them. I say, ah, some people, village people, strong. Oh. Guy, bring your lappy. Open up. I don't know, say this guy don't save in videos with inspirational message title. <laughs> Hi. I so they open them, they don't see for in videos, one folder, inspirational messages, 36 gig. <laughs> uh, the guy look up, say, ah, I'm a pastor here. Ah, you look up. 
He opened up. You don't think when they pay me, this guy they save the messages so you could know the porn way won't watch. If you see title like how to come into divine destiny. <laughs> Understanding divine turnaround. Exploring the secrets of success. <laughs> and you, the guy when they said, they say, Wow, what I've never heard these messages. Get me my hard drive. Get me my hard drive. You bring your hard drive. He collects everything. Go. Two days later, now only the guy comes. Where is he? Who can, where is he? Where is he? I say, I, they don't catch us. So. Why is he? Why is he? The guy, no, they only me. You hold my neck. You say, Where is that boy? As I they talk, the guy just come out from the tree. Now the guy rush him. How far are you now? We are sending those last two videos. You're not saying complete. Ha. Well, I do. Ha. You can clap if you want to clap. <laughs> Seriously. It's a crazy stuff, man. And, and you know, I, as a person, um, I like to talk about something that, you know, just now relationship I want to talk about. I want to ask from you guys, you know, this is from what I've observed. Just this is my ITU for Lagos. You guys, men or women, who they spoil relationship pass? Men or women? Huh? Men? Both. Now, my way they find women, they say both. Anyways, I believe personally that the reason why relationships don't work is because of women. And I will explain why. Because all the women for their mind, look at this idiot, this small boy, rubbish. <laughs> Calm down. Yes, men, they lie. Men, they cheat. Men, they break. Everybody don't already know. You understand? So why women, they always act surprised? You understand? When man just... Why did they form they didn't know before? I don't understand. You knew that he would do it. But this is the way they pay me pass. Women don't study men so they don't forget to study themselves. For example, woman go tell you this thing. You can, what I don't like in this life, I can take anything. What I don't like is lies. When you lie to me, you see, cheat on me, what's cheating? Don't lie to me. And that one, they did not lie, did they tell you so? I go prove out all the men with they, how many women you don't toast successfully with truth? You know, they believe the truth. They like lies. Let me tell you the mass. For them to, no, let me put it like this. Until you have lied to them, you cannot lie with them. Simple. At this point, you don't practice that. You say, yeah, oh, this boy, you get down. Somebody, if you see a doubt, I'll go give you one scenario. Women cannot handle the truth. I'll give you one scenario. Just imagine the two of you. When are the, let me give you a name. Um, Derele and, oh, no, I don't give you Derele. Romeo and Juliet, we are Romeo and Juliet. You guys are dating, you know, all of a sudden. You know, women, their favorite hobby, they get two hobbies. Number one, not to the suspect. <laughs> they just like to the suspect. Number two, not to the jump inside conclusion. And their favorite. So just imagine that kind of thing. Romeo and Juliet, you know, they date. Then Juliet, don't they suspect Romeo for one setting? You know, they could just fabricate something. Uh, he came back from work. He didn't sweat. He has gone to bath somewhere. Suspicious. <laughs> so I don't know that now. So Julius will go send Romeo that text. Romeo, we need to talk. You know why men they fear that text? No, not because they don't want to talk. Because you know, say anytime a woman said you we need to talk, not only them go talk. Oh. You know they talk. You go just they say we need to talk. So that kind of thing, Romeo don't they? You know men go call the check. They say, have I? Did I? No, now. I never. I've been good. I've no. No. You're going to second guess yourself. That guy in the room, you come, they come back. As you're coming back, maybe they come back, go meet Juliet, explain things out. You will come see another lady. Maybe use you. Cassandra. She just did by the side. You the driver. You sabi him. She sabi you from way back. But. You the cross go meet Juliet. So you could just try and rush. As you go, you could just say her name. Romeo! Ha, ah, they don't catch you. You go post. Maybe like Cassandra and I, your university friend or something like that. See? Cassandra, what's the problem? Because see, I'm beside her car. My car just got bad now. Okay, where do you live? Agege. Agege? And you are lucky by this time. Okay, as a gentleman now, Romeo go carry him, go a house. Maybe by the time, he could kind of go house, drop off her gate. He no go do anything. Maybe by the time he just check a wristwatch, ah, it's too late. He can't see Juliet again. So you could just send text message, baby, 
I can't make it. Ah, Juliet was where she did. So imagine, I told him we need to talk, and he still went to. She stayed parade the rake for here. Him, that's the go come, come meet and make you explain now. Juliet, don't Juliet me. I told you not to talk yesterday, and you still went to stay with that girl, right? You know, men, when they never do anything, they like the form clean. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Check my phone. I'm clean. Maybe I should just give them your phone. Now, Cassandra, go just send text. Thank you so much, Romeo. You were sweet yesterday night. <laughs> oh, yeah, try and say the truth now. Which woman go believe you? See, they was not to give you all these quotes when it makes sense. Ah. So you just dropped her in a house by 12 a.m. See, I might be an idiot, but I'm not a fool. <laughs> Thank you so much. My time is up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>